it all makes sense. These people literally think that you could just take a few hundred million from all the rich people and none of us ever have to work again. If you've ever wondered about the sanity of these left-wing Democrat politicians that push these massive social programs with unimaginable price tags, it's because they can't even do basic math and have no real concept of the numbers involved. Don't get me wrong, I'm terrible at math too, but I'm not a highly paid producer or a news anchor. Somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. He could have given each American $1 million. <laughs> Just think about all the people at NBC this stupid shit went through before it made it live on the air and disgraced liar Brian Williams reads the tweet without even so much as a whiff of skepticism. Do any of these idiots have any concept of how much it would cost to give every American $1 million? It would be $327 trillion. That's 14 times more than the gross domestic product of the United States. And how about this highly educated protector of democracy that tweeted it out? Oh, she locked her Twitter page down. But don't worry, they realized the problem and the disgraced hack Brian Williams issued a correction. It turns out Mara and I got the same grades at math. I'm speaking of the tweet we both misinterpreted. Tweet is wrong, garbage in, garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. Oh, you don't know how right you are, Brian. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first serve basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. When you put known liars back on the air to supposedly report just the facts news, you're instead gonna get cringy garbage like this. In case you didn't know, Williams is back on the air after being fired for adding to the hysteria after Hurricane Katrina. He completely made up reports about non-existent armed mobs who were out killing people over water. We were told not to drink our bottled water in front of people because we could be killed for it. <laughs> he even once claimed to have been shot down in Iraq, but that also turned out to be a lie, and yet they still rehired him. Just one more reason to distrust the media and turn off your TV. That's all I have for you today, folks. Please hit that like button, post this video on your website, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can subscribe to me on any of these other platforms, and you can find the links to those in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.